um, how how is the church challenged? In what ways are the church are churches challenged? Is that directed at me or directed at the Yes, professor? indeed. <laughs> it, it's not of the It's you, you, you first. <laughs> it's become a, continuing your, you know. Uh, it's become you one of the one of the most difficult and sensitive issues of our time. Um, but let me begin by saying that we should all appreciate the fact that we are human before we are religious. Um, if I may speak as a Christian, the Bible does not say that in the beginning God created say a Methodist or an Anglican or a Muslim or a Buddhist, it says in the beginning, um, God created heaven and earth. And then when it came to the human being, he says he created um, us in his own image. <clears throat> so God, um, to begin with, did not approach the human person from an ethnic or sexual or whatever uh, point of view. Um, we must uh, approach each other through our common humanity. In fact, that is uh, one of the central values of African cultures, to recognize our common humanity. And that also means that we must recognize life as sacred. We may have uh, disagreements, over lifestyle choices and so on. But that doesn't make anybody uh, more human than another. <clears throat> um, speaking as a Christian and as a Christ Christian pastor, the church has a very strong and clear position on matters of sexuality and gender. As a Christian denomination, the denomination to which I belong, and as a seminary, what, is, what we teach is that God created male and female. And we recognize that the proper place for, if you like, a reproductive action is in a properly contacted marriage. So the things that we speak and counsel against include inappropriate use of one's sexuality, whether in adultery or fornication or same sex and so on. However, I should be careful not to make myself the custodian of morality. In other words, the fact that somebody has made a different choice does not, I, I don't have the right to demonize anybody. And so what we have said uh, from the context to which I belong is that we preach what we think is the biblically correct um, mode of uh, sex and sexuality, modes of sex and sexuality, but then we do not demonize the different other. And so I do not endorse any kind of action that demeans another human being. I may not like the lifestyle because I have made my choices based on my faith, but I think I must also respect other people's humanity and not demonize them. Uh, my presiding bishop will say, <laughs> we love the sinner, but we hate the sin. And I think that's the position that God stands as to um, um, who, who, um, uh, determines what is uh, correct sexuality and so on. Uh, that one, I have, we have made our, our, our position clear, and we need to be careful how we treat the the different other. 